So as you guys requested, I am here with a new DaVinci Resolve color grading tutorial for the latest cinematic wedding video which I recently posted on my YouTube shorts. In order to achieve this cinematic warm look, I used the Dehancer plugin and it gave my video such an antique and classic vibe. If you like to take your color grading to the next level, I truly recommend you to get this Dehancer Pro plugin and you can use my coupon code MEHRANHD in order to get 10% and out of your first purchase. So no more talking and let's dive into the DaVinci Resolve and see the process. So as you see I have imported the footages into the project. It was shot in 4K 60 frames per second with Sony a7 IV but I have conformed the footages to 23 frames per second which now is a slow motion. I want to create a timeline with one of them. I will call it tutorial and I will turn off the use project settings. I will make sure the timeline frame rate is set to 23 frames per second and the color space. I want to set the timeline color space to DaVinci white gamut because I want to work in that color space and I will create the timeline and now let's go to the color tab. In the color tab I want to create seven nodes so I will start creating them and the first node is going to be CST the one before the last one is going to be CST. The last one is going to be my Dehancer plugin node, which I create the cinematic warm look. The second one is going to be Lift, Gamma and Gain. The third one is going to be Hue versus Sat. The fourth one is going to be Sharpen. And the fifth one is going to be Vignette. I will start by the first CST node. I want to find the color space transform and drag it and for the one before the end one CST again the color space transform and now for the first node I'm going to use the input color space this was shot in S log tree so my color space is S gamma tree I selected and the input gamma is S log tree and the output color space as I said I'm going to color grade this video in a DaVinci white gamut zone so I selected DaVinci white gamut as I created my timeline with that setting and the DaVinci intermediate as my output gamma. Now I go to my last CST node which is before the Dehancer node. Make sure you create it right and I go and here I selected my input color space as DaVinci white gamut because we have the uh, white gamut zone here in between. So I select the DaVinci white gamut and the DaVinci intermediate as my input gamma. Now for the output color space I'm going to select the Rec 709 because we export this for the social media and the screens which is the Rec 709 color space and as you see we have changed the color space now the only thing that remains is the output gamma we select the Rec 709 now you see that we have a proper conversion here and we have a good base in order to start the color grading process I will start with my lift and gamma and gain. Uh, I will go to the primary wheels and I want to start with the lift to give it some contrast in the shadows. Uh, I want to make the shadows a little bit contrasty and then I want to increase the gamma a little bit to bring up the midtones. And here I can also decrease the highlights a little bit in order to bring back some of the details in the highlights and the dress. And other than that, here I can uh, use the midtone and detail in order to make the the skin of the model softer as you see here it makes it much more dreamy in this way so I want to decrease the details in to around 35 I think it's good and here is enough for the primaries and now I go to my log wheels I want to give some contrast to the dark areas as you see the shadow in the log wheel works on the really low part of the histogram and as you see if I decrease it it just gives a good contrast to the black areas and I always use these uh, log wheels in order to give my blacks a punchy look and as you see I put it to around minus four and we have a good contrast here as you see and I am really pleased with the contrast right now. Now I go to my HDR wheels and I want to here play with the saturation and the temperature. I want to give it some saturation uh, not so much because this color grading is much more based on the tones and I do not want so much color in order to keep that cinematic look. I want to focus more on the tones rather than the colors. So I give it around uh, plus 15 
saturation now I think this picture is a little bit warm I want to make it more neutral so I will decrease the temperature until I get a neutral gray inside my overall picture you can easily understand when you play with this temperature as you see it is really cool and if I disable it as you see it's on the zero it uh, looks a little bit warm you can just play and understand what is a middle point which you need to keep i think it's around minus 400 which i think it's around the neutral you can pay attention to the white for example or if you have anything gray in the picture you can use that as a reference and i think around minus 450 is a good point in order to keep the picture neutral and I think uh, the tint can also be decreased a little bit in order to remove the magenta from the picture and I think we are in a good starting position in order to uh, go for the color grading now let's check the picture in different areas as you see here now created the hue and sat node in order to decrease the saturation a little bit in these blues because I think it's a little bit distracting so I go to the hue and saturation and here I go for the hue versus sad I select the blues and I just widen this range in order to make it soft and then I will start to decrease the saturation here to around 60 as you see it doesn't make much difference but again it's a, a small step to bring the attention more towards the model and for the next node I go to the sharpen node I go to the second tab blur sharpen I decrease it one step which brings it to 47 and as you see the eyes become much more sharper I don't know if you can see it on YouTube but it's much sharper and definitely affects the quality of your video now for the vignette uh, node I want to create a vignette effect I always do this for all of my videos I want to create this window here and I will invert it and I want to make it soft you can enable this highlights to see where it affects now I go to my curves and the first tab and I want to decrease the midtones add a vignette effect as you see if I enable and disable all the notes we made a huge difference until now and vignette notes by itself makes a big change in the mood of your video now we go for our last node which is the most important part of this tutorial the dehancer plugin which creates a cinematic and moody look for your video i will go to the settings i want to change the first thing which i want to change is the film i have decided to use the kodak gold 200 has a very warm look let me find it guys it gives a really warm look to the video and it's a good starting point i think and then i will go proceed and go to the film uh, developer and i want to enable it i want to give it some contrast i will play with this you can see the effect in real time and i will put it around 15 i think is good we added a little bit of contrast it is really subtle but it makes a huge change in the end also i want to give it a little bit of color boost because this film uh, made it a little bit neutral so I add a little bit of a little touch of color boost and then I will proceed to the I am not going to use the film compression we do not have any blown highlights here so we are good to go I go to the expand and I want to play with the black point I want to give it some contrast in the blacks so for the black point I will increase it to around two I think is good and as you see we have a much punch your blacks it depends on your mood if you want your blacks to be really contrasty or not i really like my blacks to be contrasty so again it depends on you and for our white point i want to decrease it to make it a little bit brighter to around 96 i think it's enough i do not want to go any higher just want to keep that moody look for the picture now the next tab is print uh, here i play with the tonal contrast and as you see it adds a beautiful contrast to the midtones and i really like this effect and I always use it as you see we have a beautiful contrast in the midtones it is really subtle and really welcome so I use this effect now here is the most important part the color head I open the color head and let me zoom out the video and I enable it and I want to give it warm look so I will uh, use my first slider and bring it towards the yellow and i want to make it yellowish and as you see it's not looking really good at first because we have to play with the other two sliders too i want to remove some of the greens from the picture so i bring it towards the magenta 
now you see it is uh, warm and it has a really brownish tim and so i just want to remove some of the brown and red from the picture so i bring it towards the cyan and as you see now you can see the how much this warm look effect with the yellow slider and combination of the magenta and cyan has affected the picture and it made it really beautiful i really like the vibe here it has a really antique and classic vibe now we have also three other important sliders which make a huge difference and i really love this feature in the enhancer plugin i want to play with the tones and as you see i play with the shadow tone i just want to remove some of those yellowish parts from the really shadowy area Areas. as you see if I bring it to minus you see we add a little bit blue to some really shadowy areas and for the midtones again you can play with this I want to make it warmer in the midtones and as you see if I increase this we are adding yellow to the midtones you can play with it to see which tones it's affecting. If I'm not wrong, these sliders will affect the tones which has the most uh, range here. And as you see, we have the yellow and blue with the most changes. So these three sliders would uh, pick that tone as a reference. And as you see, if I change the mid-tone, it's adding blue and yellow in the mid-tones. So if I increase it i'm adding yellow and i think it is really beautiful it has a really subtle yellow tone in the mid-tones and for the highlights again i also want to add some warm to the highlights some warm tones the yellow tones and here we can see the before and after of the color head it makes a really big change and if i enable and disable the dehancer plugin you see how much difference it made it made video really antique and classic which is really awesome for a cinematic wedding video. Now we go down and we have the film grain. It depends on you how much film grain you want. I put it around 25. I do not uh, add it so much, but again, it depends on your liking and taste. And the halation, you can use it if you like. I do not want halation here. If I enable it, it adds a, a red halo around the contrasty parts. It's beautiful, it depends on you if you want it or not, I do not use it. But I want the bloom effect, I really like this effect as you see. It adds a dreamy halo around the model, which makes the picture really cinematic and moody and dreamy. I want to increase it also to around 70, 80 and as you see, it is just so much beautiful, I love this effect it makes a huge difference in this color grading process now the next effect is the film damage i want to enable it and as you see it adds a beautiful film damage effect if i don't know if you can see it but it really affects the mood of the picture some of the scatters which happen on the picture it is really beautiful i like this effect and i use it on my cinematic and classic color gradings and I really love it. And here is for the dehancer part. I do not add anything else. I am really pleased with the picture which I achieved. And as you see, you can see the before and after how much change we have here. It is just such a beautiful and amazing plugin which helps you achieve some cinematic results on your videos. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial, guys. I would be glad to hear your opinions. And if you have any problem, please let me know in the comment sections. I will be seeing you in my future videos. Goodbye.